Okay, hey, we're going to another episode of On Point EDC. Today, I have a really cool review for you from the brand Ridge. They're an EDC gear company best known for their famous Ridge wallet, born out of Kickstarter nearly 10 years ago. Now expanding into various EDC facets, from bolt action pens to now even wrist watches. Uh, in terms of the, this particular product, this is a custom pen, some key comic characteristics and design language that fall within to that custom pen category. Of course, you're gonna want a unique design language. You're gonna want something that is fun and fidgetable in terms of its actuation, as well as premium materials and construction for extended use. This is their bolt action pen and it's pretty much I believe it's top trim with the burnt titanium finish and this pen was designed intentionally to be used as your daily writer being uh, you know confident in, in the fact that you can take this wherever your life may lead and it actually does come with a very solid um, insert from Schmidt it's their easy flow 9000 medium ballpoint and it go it actually goes for um, this whole package as configured for $89 direct and uh, big thanks and shout out to Ridge for sending me their product and of course supporting the channel. Uh, definitely use the link in the description if you are interested in checking out their site and you can use the code Average Bros for an additional 10% off of your order. So with all of that said and established, let's go ahead, zoom the camera out, get this piece in hand and take a closer look. Okay, now before we dive in, quick customary wristwatch check. Of course, I do have the Ridge Field Watch. Uh, on titanium grade two. Uh, if you're interested in the full review, definitely check my channel history guys. But here we're gonna focus on the pen. Of course, my channel is mainly, uh, you know, don't I mainly review wristwatches and that's what kind of got me interested in Ridge in terms of uh, that new release. And then I noticed that they were also doing pens and uh, they were kind enough to just send this pen in and they didn't even, you know, say anything about any type of uh, review or anything like that. They just kind of sent this along with it. So I'll just use the same links from the watch review and uh, you guys can use the same code uh, potentially for, uh, you know, if you do decide to pick this up, you can get 10% off, so it's a win-win. I was not paid by Ridge to do this video, but they will be tracking, uh, you know, the how many people use the custom link in the description as well as uh, how many people use the discount code. But uh, other than that, that's what that information is there for. Now let's get into this piece. Um, it has a matte blasted finish for this grade to uh, titanium, um, and it's it's very clean, guys. It, it's definitely very nice. Actually, you know what? I don't know if this is grade two titanium. I know the watch is grade two titanium, so I guess I kind of assumed that they would do grade two titanium for the pen. But if somebody else finds out and they're saying this is a grade five, uh, you know, hey, don't bite my head off. Um, it's it's very solid. Uh, the main difference between grade two and grade five is gonna be grade two is gonna be a little bit easier to work with, while grade five is gonna be a little bit easier to do finishing uh, and whatnot with because there's it's an alloy and has a mixture of other components versus grade two being a bit more pure. Now in terms of pens, a lot of times within the EDC community, it's gonna be kind of grade five titanium, uh, more so just for, um, the additional strength um, of course you do want lightness but you know that's that's kind of what i've seen at least within my experience now um the mechanism here is a bolt action so you can see very nice looks like it has kind of a brass uh, inner mechanism there and if you notice the uh, bolt action there actually looks a lot like the crown on the watch which is pretty cool so if you are a big watch guy and you buy the watch the pen has that little tie-in or if you're a big pen guy uh, you could potentially buy this watch to tie in to the crown uh, or to the uh, little bolt action there so pretty cool and you can see uh, definitely has more of a deep carry setup here with a spring clip versus a milled clip which you know some people would prefer milled one of the nice things about a spring clip is that you're going to have uh, you know a deeper carry which depending on how you're gonna carry your stuff it, it may or may not matter right if you're gonna put this inside some type of uh, pouch or uh, you know onto your kit versus into your pocket uh, pant pocket uh, you're gonna want it low riding 
if it's going to be maybe a blouse pocket, then you're probably going to uh, not really care because you're just going to have it easier to be drawn up front anyway. So uh, I think this is actually pretty nice and you can see that it matches in terms of being blacked out. Here you have uh, the little seam because this is where it comes apart and I'll say the threads are really smooth. I was really quite surprised by that um, just because this doesn't have a premium price. I mean, yes, $89 isn't cheap for a pen, but for a titanium pen, um, you know, with uh, all the fixings and everything, this is actually pretty much a deal. And that's what makes me pretty certain that this isn't produced in the US because of the price point, right? So there's a better margin, I'm sure, by doing that this overseas. But I was just really, really uh, pleased by that and then of course you can see there they also do have a little gasket so it's gonna have a nice tight seal which is quite nice you get some knurling here and you can see that additization has a nice fade to it that almost comes to a bit of a bronze tone here towards the end great knurling in terms of grip nice and uh you know meaty i like the length here as well it's just over five inches at 5.1 inches uh thickness is just a little over 10 millimeters at 10.8 so this is going to be pretty beefy uh this is going to be something that you're going to definitely want to use at that kind of capacity of leaning more towards the tough the rugged the outdoor style versus something like i wouldn't necessarily just buy this and keep it at my desk this is definitely something that you're going to want to take with you kind of uh you know on your journeys and adventures and the weight on it is pretty decent it's a uh, one and a half ounces so not too shabby it does have that feeling of heft which is nice obviously if you have a plastic pen it's just going to feel cheap you get these kind of solid metal pens whether they be brass copper titanium stainless steel or aluminum uh you know in terms of some of the other options that are out there and it's nice to kind of have this weighty feel right same thing with let's say a mechanical timepiece versus a quartz that movement in there the oscillating rotor everything feeling a little bit more weighted feeling a little bit more substantial it definitely gives you that feeling of premium and feeling of quality and you can see it holds uh it sits in the hand really well i am left-handed uh, or at least i do write with my left hand i pretty much do everything else with my right hand but since i write with my left hand i wear my watch on my right wrist which uh i know a lot of people are probably screaming at the screen because uh your watch is on the wrong wrist well this is how it works for lefties um which you can see really nice and in terms of like testing the writing uh, you know it's a schmidt easy flow if you want to know how a schmidt easy flow works or if you wanted to change this to any other parker style refill you're more than welcome to do that i don't think that's really intrinsic to the uh to the pen because it can be uh, swapped out very very easily so it's one of those things again i don't think that's that they don't produce it ridge you know um it's not like the official insert is going to be the schmidt it's really means that a parker style refill will fit in here and those work really well i've used them in a lot of different pens some a lot more expensive than this one but what i do like uh, within this package is that it is titanium. It does have the cool extra finishing. It does have some nice little details in terms of design that make it a little different. I like the play with the colors. They're not the only one to have done that, but you know what? It looks good and the contrast is quite nice. There's just, you know, uh, it seems like everybody who's doing watches is also doing pens um, these days. And, uh, you know, everybody who's doing pens is also doing knives these days. So there's just a lot of crossover and there's a lot of kind of sharing of certain ideas and certain aesthetics that are going to be popular within this particular uh, market space. Now, in terms of ergonomics, very smooth, well balanced. It has that overbuilt heft. Again, nice bolt action, even for a lefty, you know, it's not gonna be, oh, okay, I'm having to do so much more work by just rolling it over and, uh, you know, it's it's fine. It, it works absolutely fine. It's not like a lot of the times you're gonna be doing that, you're gonna transition anyway, in terms of actuating the pen and then writing. It's not like you're gonna be trying to do that. Like, even if I was right-handed, it's not like I would be writing and then, like, I still have to shift my hand over anyway, right? So 
some things to think about and i'll keep my the pen in this hand for all of you normal handed people out there who are right handed um so you can maybe get an idea of how this might look as you grasp it in terms of the pocket clip the nice thing is that it's uh you know it is quite deep carry uh at and you know it stays out of the way and i like that they positioned it in a way that keeps the bolt to the side so when you do put this in it's not like the bolts over here and it's gonna like dig into anything or you know wear a hole into the fabric of your clothing if you do have this placed in your clothing now um in terms of model variations this is actually also available in a color-coded aluminum so um, you can get it in a various amount of colors but the body will be made out of aluminum instead of titanium you get it for 59 bucks which is great and you take 10 percent off of that what's that like almost six dollars off so i mean that's that's kind of cool um so yeah there are a lot of comparable options you know um you guys have seen my channel you guys want to go to the channel history there's a lot of them out there there's a wide range some are just like really really expensive very exclusive and then there are some that are just like you can add it to cart at any time and this is definitely one of those ones where you can add it to cart uh, more easily and obviously it's gonna be more accessible with that overseas construction um, and again if we find out that these are made in the USA cool they're not advertising that so i would assume that that's not the case because if they were that would definitely be another point of value at least for us customers so um you know yes there are some other pens that are very similar that are similarly specced uh, this and that uh, that are quite competitive they're gonna use the same inserts and whatnot but a lot of them are closer to 100 bucks or 100 dollars and up and uh you know they will be hey made in america and, and all that side of it but this is ridge so you're going to also get those lifetime warranties you're going to be able to take advantage of their 99 uh, day you know risk-free trial periods so there's a lot just because it's the brand ridge that of course sells all those wallets and they have you know a full customer service team and all that they're not you know an upstart working out of uh you know out of a little industrial park this is a full service brand and uh they have a lot of longevity and uh you know a lot more staff and and coverages and whatnot so there is of course a balance to that i do always like to support u.s made products um, but this is a u.s headquarter brand as well so you know you're still supporting u.s entrepreneurs so that's nice as a you know living in the u.s if you're watching this video in europe or somewhere else you're not really caring but hey let's just throw that out there so for me guys bottom line even with the abundance of great edc pens on the market it's still nice to see brands um you know continue to diversify the landscape by bringing new offerings that have crossover appeal from other products really to gain more visibility into this space right so like you might be just at the ridge wallet site because you're looking for a new wallet and then you see they have a pen, right? And then you see they sell watches. So it's cool that those other facets and the popularity uh, of the Ridge brand can kind of get people into EDC, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like the video, please do a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.